is the little riff that we're going for in this lesson five of my little rock starter course. Um, it has the three chords, A major, but we, I'm going to encourage you to play A major with your first finger like this, which is kind of in the rock style. But if you really persist, this A major sounds absolutely fine. It's just this has many advantages which we'll go into. A D major. Play like this. G major with the third and little finger down, like this. And I'll talk you through each of those chords in more depth now. So we're going to play A major like this. This is the one finger A chord from level three of my beginner's course. And it's played like that. The technique that we want to move towards is kinking the first finger like this so we can get the thinnest string ringing out as well. We certainly don't want this first finger to be holding down the thinnest four strings, otherwise we kind of get a Beatles sounding A6 chord, which isn't what we're after. We want this kind of idea with the first finger, and if you can't get this uh, thinnest string to ring out like this, then just play the uh, string 5, 4 and 3 and that will be totally fine. We want it in the following rhythm. 1, 2, 3, 4. Strum, strum, mute, strum, strum. So palm muting to get silence. The same way we have done before. Pressing lightly but we don't want any sound you know we don't want any notes ringing out we want silence like this then we move to the d major chord which is played one two three ideally with the thumb just creeping over the top and all your fingers on an angle pointing towards your strumming hand shoulder or towards um, where your eyes are looking at them rather than like this. We then strum the same rhythm. Strum, strum, mute, strum, strum. So we have so far. And this longer mute at the end gives us more time to change than you may have had in the songs that you've learned so far with these chords. The next chord we're going for is a G major with the third and little finger down. You can, as an extra little trick, uh, play the rock G, which is without our first finger being down, but we need to mute string five um, so that the uh, underside of the middle finger is touching string five, and that won't be heard when you play this. It's a very subtle difference. but does tend to clean up the sound a little, make it sound less muddy when we have this amount of overdrive on our amplifier. So that is the Rock G, which is very handy for this kind of song. And then we'd go back to the D. And uh, that is our entire riff. Let me just demonstrate it once and then we'll have a slow playthrough together in two, three, four. That's what we're going for. Play along with me. We'll go just a little bit slower. In two, three, four. One more time in two, three, four. D. Rock G. Finish on the D. And that is the riff that we're going for. A couple of pointers. We have plenty of time to move between these chords, but they want to be ringing out when you're doing it. So make sure every note is fretted at this side of the fret, rather than at this side of the fret. Otherwise, the notes won't quite ring out as well as they could. 
we don't want any sound other than the silence and particularly on the D make sure you miss out the thickest two strings so it sounds like this rather than like this if we hear the D on its own that's from string four from there and if we have all six it sounds very bad and uh, the A is from string five D is the thinnest four strings and then the G rock G is all six let me demo this along to the backing track so we can hear what it sounds like This is the riff. And all of these chords and changes are based upon the stuff that we're learning at level three of my beginner's course where we kind of master this D to G change by keeping this third finger down. All of this technique is covered really thoroughly in level three of my beginners course, the link to that is in the description below. So if you need more help, uh, go for that one. Loads of song suggestions and song lessons at that level as well. Um, really highly recommended. Let's have a go at this riff slowly, just me and you, and then we'll go along to the track. So just together now, dead slow, from the A chord, in two, three, four. D. G, D, and again, awesome stuff, let's have a go from the very top along to the backing track, it's a little bit faster this one because we're getting a little bit further through this course now, uh, let's have a go, in, two, one, two, three, four. And again. just going to strum, so if you pause there, one, two, four, three. same four chords, same order, but we're just strumming each one four times. Okay, so hopefully you could play along to the riff there, let me just make sure that we're aware of what's happening with this one. Um, let's go for the normal A major, so either like this or like this. Um, I'm going to go for this one so we can change that D easier. There's the A chord, there's the D, and then the third finger stays down, and we go to the G, uh, we'll stick to the rock G though. And uh, let's go for this one, so this will be one, two, up a little bit so you can hear it. I'll just turn the volume down on the guitar which you can do to kind of hear what's going on a little bit more. Each chord four times to the D. Tricky a bit here. You do not have any pause to facilitate that change and, and make it a little bit easier. But let's have a play together, it's a very similar thing and uh, just something to nudge you a little bit along in your chord changes. From the A chord, in, one, two, three, together. Two, three, four, G, and a D. 
Okie dokie, let's have a full playthrough of this backing track now and this backing track is available on the website, links in the description along with this entire course and uh, you can play along to them without having to get to the end of every video every time you can just uh, play along to your heart's content. Track 5, here we go, from the riff, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. the riff. Good muting, remember? Silence. Four strums of each chord. Chorus. With the normal A. Still with the rock key. Rock and roll, guys. Fantastic stuff. Um, a great song choice to go after this is uh, Highway to Hell, which is another tutorial on my channel. Um, we have that one up already. Really, really similar to this, but this one is just a bit more, a uh, bit easier, a bit more incremental, and um, just slightly less happening so that you guys can play along to the track, which is the main thing we're bringing in this one. Uh, I hope to see you in the next tutorial in this course. You can download this video and the entire course that this comes from, plus the backing tracks as audio, the tab, and fun little bonuses, um, all by visiting the website by clicking the links that are on the screen now. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel, and I'm sure I'll see you again in one of my videos. Thank you very much for watching.